Well, after zero wins and four straight losses in special elections, including last night's in Georgia and South Carolina, more and more analysts are saying the Democrats need to rethink their strategy or even get one. The Democrat agenda is resist Trump, fight Trump, take Trump down. Now, even a lot of people who aren't crazy about Donald Trump, it, it, a, it's old, B, it's negative, which doesn't win hearts and minds in America, and C, it's not an agenda. Democrat uh, Senator Chris Kuhn says, I think our challenge is to put forward a strong and clear agenda that helps middle Americans look at the two parties and the directions they'd like to take our country and say that they would rather have a Congress in the hands of Democrats. Chris Plant is a syndicated radio talk show host. Leslie Marshall is a syndicated radio talk show host and a Fox News contributor. All right, so I will start with you first, Leslie. What is the strategy? Because in the wake of last night's big loss, uh, losses, I should now say, uh, what is the strategy on the part of Democrats and do they need to do some soul searching? Well, first of all, I wouldn't say they're big when you look at percentages in extremely red districts. And if I were a Republican and this went the um, other way, uh, and a the lot tables of money were turned was spent. completely, Some would I would say that that was, a, that was a big loss. Well, to lose is a loss, but when you look at a Democrat even getting to that point, I mean, for 37 years, you had a more than 24 percent margin that a Republican had over a Democratic candidate in this, the 6th mm. District of Georgia and other districts. I, I would say that they're closing the gap, although I would agree that the message can't just be not we're not Trump. <clears throat> we're right. different than Trump. We're the anti-Trump. Republicans saw that actually work very successfully for them with we're not Obama, we're the anti-Obama, but they also did did put forth, and this is how come we are different and what we would do differently. So I think the Democrats have to combine that message with what uh, Senator Kuhn said, which is, this is, we are not Trump, this is what we feel he is failing at and failing Americans at, and this is where we think we would succeed and put that forward, put All right, that agenda well, so forward. I still don't know what the message is going to be right. uh, based on that answer, Chris. Right. Well, that's right, and Senator Coons was admitting that they don't have anything to offer the American people except demonization and a horror show and conflict and screaming in one another's faces and calling each other the most vile names in the books and, 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 and uh, single book and turning us against one another because that's what the Democrats have been doing for years and it worked for them for a long time and it's, it's not just anti-Trump. It's anti-everybody. It's anti-people that support Trump. It's anti-Republicans that don't support Trump. It's calling everybody racist and misogynist and bigoted and, right, so and let me get Leslie's take on that, because to, to, to continue with what Bill Bennett was saying there, who has worked in two Republican White Houses, mm -hmm. uh, he's saying that Democrats have moved too far to the left. They're lacking an agenda. But, Leslie, yeah. he went on to say, look who the leaders of the party are. He points to Bernie right. Sanders, Elizabeth Warren. It's unbelievable that they're not coming up with some sort of new blood. I mean, what's what is I asked Joe this of our, of our guest earlier. What's the future of Nancy Pelosi at this point? Right. Well, first of all, uh, Bernie Sanders is not a Democrat. I know Senator Sanders, no offense to him. He's not. He may caucus with the Democrats. He's an independent. And I honestly feel that a lot of those Bernie still or bust people um, are helping Republicans and helping the president, his administration, his agenda by further uh, dividing the party. Uh, Chris, to your point, though, if you look back, Republicans were very successful being the anti-Obama and anti-Obamacare in regaining control of both parties, both but chambers so what's of, your of point? Congress, should they the House stay, the Should they keep that as their message, Leslie, the anti-Trump uh, movement, the resist movement, that it's not working right now. Well, what I just said earlier is that you can't just do that. You have to have a balance, which is this is what the president mm. promised. This is what he has done and the effect of that. This is what he hasn't right. done. And this is what we right. plan well, Chris, and propose Republicans to do. Republicans still have their challenges as well. And that sure. is health care is a big one. Listen to what Senator McCain has to say about that at this point. I'm hopeful that they will report it out. I hope that we can have debate and discussion and amendments on the floor of the Senate. I do not like the way that this thing is being put together, and I think it's wrong. And I think the American people, by not knowing what towards what is clearly a failed policy, and that is, of course, uh, Obamacare. So Senator John McCain clearly says he doesn't like the way this thing's being put together, Chris. Yeah. 
Well, I mean, I don't know how early on in the process it is. Senator McCain likes to disagree with his own party. That's sort of his, his trademark. That's what he does. Uh, and Bernie Sanders ran as a Democrat. Bernie Sanders is a Democrat, even though he's a socialist. Just to circle back to Leslie's thing for a second. Listen, sure, the Republicans have to produce on Capitol Hill, uh, the repeal of Obamacare, which is imploding and my rates personally tripled, more than tripled. They also have to get some sort of a tax reform package through with which Speaker Paul Ryan is talking about doing uh, this year. Those would be good things. I'd like to see them accomplish uh, some things. But, but honestly, uh, a lot of people are dealing with the food fight that is ongoing and the Democrats are driving the food fight and it's mm. us versus them and we are the enemy because we draw attention to a $20 trillion debt and we can't go on and on, Angus King earlier, we're taking food out of the mouths of the elderly. I mean, come right. on, we, we passed broke $20 trillion ago. For how long are we going to play this ridiculous game where they get four inches away from our face and scream at us right. and hope they're going to win elections? So I'm, I'm, I'm going to go back to Leslie on, uh, with uh -huh. something I started with. Do Democrats need to stop, take a moment, do some soul searching, and look at what their strategy is going forward? Well, I think one of the things is the Democrats that are on different side of the Democratic aisle, if you will, need to sit down and say, OK, where can we unite and what message going forward can we unite on? And I must champion Senator John McCain, even though he's a Republican. There are 13 men sure. secretly making decisions regarding mm -hmm. health care for the oh, nation. Please. And a number of those health care oh, issues please. affect right. women. Oh, and there's I, not I promise oh, the, 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 there, there it is. Word, there's the division. There's the stuff. The, the Democrats changed the locks on the hearing room doors to keep the Republicans out while they put together Obamacare without and, and you claim you All did right. it in public. It wasn't done in public. All right. I got I to gotta leave it there, guys. Thanks for, to both of you for coming All right. on. All right. Thanks.